Hi there, it's Kevin Hickey, Executive Director of Catholic Charities, Diocese of Camden, and I'm here uh, with you to talk about celebration of National Migration Week, which is actually a worldwide celebration by the Catholic Church. So this year's theme for National Migration Week is Towards an Ever Wider We. And I think it was, uh, that theme really in a sense was anticipated in, in Pope Francis's encyclical Evangelii Gaudium where he was exhorting us really to, to go out to the peripheries, to be missionary disciples, to engage with people who are the other, who are different than us. As I reflect on the theme for our week, Towards an Ever Wider We, it, I reflect on our current work as well as some of our historical work in immigration, refugee, and migrant services. And right now, we are dealing with a, a wide variety of people with different statuses. So we're, we're working with people who are undocumented and who need support, need food, need a smile. Uh, we're working with SIV cases. I know we've all heard that expression. That means special immigration visa. It's being extended to many Afghan partners who supported our troops in Afghanistan, who worked for the embassy in Afghanistan. So many of them have already arrived, even prior to this dramatic influx that's happened over the last month. We expect to work with some of the Afghan parolees who are now at Fort Dix and at other military institutions across the country. We're dealing with secondary migrations, that is to say people who are uh, refugees and who originally were settled in another state and, and now have moved here to be closer to family. So that's just a snapshot of the, the variety of kinds of immigrants there are and we're working with them now and, and in fact our history of this stretches over a 20 year period and, and really even longer than that because I was just reflecting with a colleague that my own involvement with refugee resettlement in the United States goes back to 1975 when Vietnamese refugees were coming here. And of course, there's a common theme uh, to why there are people on the move. And these are people fleeing, usually war, usually upheaval. And of course, now with climate change, this is another issue that we're going to see increased movements of people when the local climate n no longer supports the agriculture that it has in the past. But best to say that the church is called to minister to people who are moving, who are uh, stateless, uh, because they are in fact homeless. And certainly the struggle is how to appropriately support and welcome people while not overburdening any given locality. But it's great work and you certainly can get involved in it. You'll hear during the week ways that you too can be involved with some of our efforts. We have a, a real treat for you this week and hope you'll be able to join in. We have some wonderful, outstanding examples of the value that immigrants bring to America. And you're gonna to get to meet uh, a number of them. And I think they are just shining examples of what immigrants add to our country. So thank you, and uh, I do hope you'll be able to make time. We've got a schedule for you, and uh, you know, even if you can just join us for 20 minutes or so, I think, I think you'll really enjoy it. So thank you again for your interest in National Migration Week.